Good morning and welcome to the Monday Morning Marketing Podcast. I'm Esther. And I'm Melanie. And today we're talking about stop selling on social media. Jesus, that's savage. <laughs> well, I mean, we'll have to get the point across. Okay, good point. Um, <laughs> anyway, let's not get on the wrong side of you this morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Haven't had my coffee. Yeah, well, you've not nearly obviously had enough. Um, no. So you've got a point though people do oversell people are constantly being sold to so how do we stop doing this and still get people to buy from us so number one tip that i would give is to just be yourself when you are yourself and you're giving value then people will know that what you're talking about is something that you're actually an authority in or that you actually know about so if you're being yourself on social media you will be talking about the issues of not having enough caffeine in the morning before recording a podcast episode you will be talking about how the ironing on a sunday night does your head in because you're relatable to lots of other people right this is because i mentioned i do the ironing isn't it yeah, <laughs> yeah. on a sunday yeah, and I feel sorry for you. <laughs> yeah, you would you wouldn't believe the off air conversations we have, really. <laughs> well, uh, but yeah, no, you're right. Being relatable is important, but sometimes it's more important to be relatable to your audience rather than just being yourself. Um, in that, and what I mean by that is that, you know, if I'm targeting corporates and CEOs, um, and which sometimes I am, I speak in a completely different way to the way I would normally speak every day. So, you know, because my, I wouldn't be, I would say a high ticket product particularly, um, which is the way I've, the way I'm happy to be. So I then have to speak in a completely different way using different, you know, images, calls to action, wording, that sort of thing. And, so when you're trying to speak to them, you're trying to help them understand that you can re be relatable and connect to them on their level and still not sell. Because if anybody can't tolerate being sold to, it's them. <laughs> yeah. They can, I mean, a lot of us, Joe, you know, Joe Schmoes, the rest of us normals, um, we can actually tolerate to be sold to every now and then because we can, we can appreciate that, you know, it has to be done. But for most people, just being useful, being helpful, or even being funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, being you're really good funny. at that, aren't you? No, you're the better yeah. one. But yes. <laughs> but it, when Melanie says, you know, that she has to change her the way she is, she's not changing her hair color and her, you know, her accent. She is just adding in a few different phrases that will relate to the the CEOs and the the chiefs. It's you know, I'm sure a lot of them also have to do the ironing on a Sunday night, <laughs> so they probably could relate to that as well. But when you're selling your services, it has to be on a level of you know, you're not going to be talking about your ironing. You're not going to be talking about your kids. You will be talking about something, a problem that you have helped solve for somebody else. Yeah, be helpful. Yes, yes, we always like being helpful. So we're coming up to the run up to the big C word, right? At the time of this recording, I have seen the countdown has already started. And me yeah, personally- Yeah, last week it was a hundred days, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. And me personally, it's keep it in December, right? But I love buying stuff for that big day. So how do you get around mentioning it and not mentioning it to somebody like me who just wants to scroll through their Facebook feed without being sold to on a constant basis from the middle of September. You know, your baubles and your angels and your uh, hair clips and your toys. And what advice would you give to people without having to mention why they need to sell these things? Oh, special occasions. I mean, special occasions happen year round, wedding anniversaries, weddings, you know, birthday parties. Um, frankly, the next big important day for me is Black Friday. Don't know, don't know what you're talking about. Um, that's, the, that's the next big important day for me. 
So for those of you who've forgotten, Black Friday's coming up. Don't forget. <laughs> um, you forgot my birthday. Oh, crumbs, did I? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make her pay for this later. Damn it. <laughs> but yeah, it's true. You know, you do have all these all these occasions that come up. Yeah. And you can be re- recommending or, you know, promoting your ser- your sales or your, your products without openly selling. Yeah. You, know, you can t- tell people without mentioning the C word, you know, there's there's more important days coming up before anything else. You know, you got you got Black Friday, you've got Halloween. So whatever your products or services are, you can mention those. And, you know, you can say this is the last you know, we're counting down the last three special days of, of this year. And so Halloween being one, Black Friday being the second, and I'm sure they can work out what the third one is. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope so. <laughs> but it is like it's becoming constantly, you know, seeing the contact now, buy now. Yeah. You know, um, click here, do this, do that. Constantly having a call to action that is salesy. Yeah. What call to action would you recommend for not being salesy? Well, download would be a good one. Download to learn more information or here are some top tips to help you, you know, spread your finances over the next quarter. Hint, hint. Um, <laughs> you know, how better ways to save. Um, yeah, there's, there's lots of things, lots of calls to actions you could use without actually selling um, I mean, as a as a tip, a lot of businesses had to close down initially through the first lockdown um, um, in COVID. And what kept most of the businesses open was by being resourceful and helpful and thinking what their audience was going through rather than selling their products or services. Because for, for a lot of them, it wasn't realistic. Staff were laid off. They weren't getting supplies into the country because obviously boats and planes and everything else was in, it was impacted. So instead of disappearing off the ether, they were just useful to their audience, which yeah. I totally, totally applaud them for. Um, because when they could start getting their staff back in and they could get shipments back in and that sort of stuff, they were still top of mind for their audience. So yeah. bravo to them. And yeah. But why should we stop doing that? It exactly. really worked. <laughs> exactly. And you just reminded me, you know, share your good news stories, share your behind the scenes yeah. at your business. If somebody in your in your company has a birthday, share that, you know, celebrate with your company, with your, your staff and let people know. Or if you provide services for birthdays, etc., mention the people that you have provided a service or goods for, you know, that well, way. With permission, with permission. Well, yes, yes, with permission. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're able to, you know, mention, oh, for example, we did a website for XYZ and give them a shout out, it helps that business as well. Mm. You know, so be helpful, be share your knowledge and just be there. Mm. What is it they say? Is it 80 20 or is it 70 30? I never remember. Well, 80 20 is the recommended. Um, so that what she's referring to is 80% of the time, um, share other people's related content to what you're doing. And then 20% of the time, share your content. But even during those 20%, that doesn't mean you're buy now, buy now, shop now, shop now. It's, it's, that's where you can talk about yourself. And we've, we've had this conversation with before, you know, it depends on where you are in your sales funnel. Are you in awareness, consideration or conversion? And that's how you speak. And they all have slightly different calls to action. Yeah. But and you know, there'll always be somebody, sorry, there'll always be somebody yeah, you who look, will be ready, who will be ready at the point, at the exact moment that you share the buy now button yeah. that are ready to click. You know, it happens all the time that you just think of something or, oh, I forgot, whatever. And you automatically see, I think, you know, we all know Google listens, um, but it automatically <laughs> pops up on your feed that this is available and I have so many of these left. And you're like, perfect. You know, this yeah. is exactly what I need at the right time. So it doesn't matter if you only share it once a week, once a fortnight, your buy now button, there will always be somebody there that needs it at that very moment. Yeah. 
And sometimes it's it's just enough, even if you've gone through that part of the sales funnel, you know, the lower part of the sales funnel, and you're restarting again. Somebody goes, I should have contacted them last week. And that reminder that you're there, that you're being useful and resourceful, is just enough to help them yeah. push the button. Um, but yeah, yeah. Try, try not to always sell because we really hate it as much yeah. as anybody else. And, and we're in the business of trying to sell stuff. Yeah. And I mean, the key is in the title. Yeah. It's called social media. Yeah. Social. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, so. They put the emphasis on the first word. And even when you say social media, media tends to be the lower word for some reason social yeah. media you don't go social media it's it's, it's it's very rare that people would do that um so the emphasis is on the first word and being social is how it how it works um so yeah that's rant over basically <laughs> we'll be back next week with another no we won't we try not to <laughs> rant every week <laughs> try being the operative word but that is it for this week guys if you do have any questions or if you would like us to help you with anything in order to not be salesy on social media then just reach out we're here subscribe to our channel and follow us on all our social media so that you can see when the next episode drops and you can learn more um, marketing tips from melanie and myself thanks for joining us guys bye bye ttfn